Just one more step and we would have been caught in the trap of the euphoria associated with the crypto market. There is a wave of fresh energy from every corner of the market, hence the slew of bullish and unrealistic crypto predictions. 2024 has been touted to be a great year for crypto investments and investors. There are pieces of evidence to prove this. However, not everyone is right about the performance of crypto this year. Listen up. In an interview with CNBC, Jim Cramer recently shared his general market predictions for 2024, but also warned that the first days of the new year do not often say much about the future. He suggested that Wall Street may now be seeing a sector rotation, as some investors doubt that the magnificent seven tech stocks will continue their runs, instead of buying up stocks that have seen steep declines such as food or pharmaceutical names. Kramer said, According to my crystal ball, people will take profits in the best of the best, the ones that have defined this market, yes, the Magnificent Seven and Friends, as well as the richly valued software enterprise names. I think investors will use that cash to invest in companies that haven't gotten any respect for ages. He went on to note that many years begin with a lot of this repositioning, but the moves may be temporary. In addition, he pointed out that investors may start to buy back stocks that performed well in December, however, at lower levels once companies start to report earnings. To Kramer, a lot of Wall Street action will revolve around the Federal Reserve's decisions, with many trying to predict and then scrutinize the organization's moves, combined with fearing a recession. Rather than getting too caught up with the Fed's worries, Jim Cramer said investors would be wise to choose stocks of companies that they believe have solid leadership and are reasonably valued. So wait patiently for the sell-off that I'm expecting, and then do some buying, Kramer said. Moving forward into the predictions for the general market by experts, Peter Oppenheimer, head of macro research in Europe at Goldman Sachs, noted that the global economy is moving into a new super cycle, with artificial intelligence and decarbonization being driving factors. We are moving clearly into a different super cycle, he told CNBC Squawk Box Europe recently. With a super cycle, he meant the lengthy period of economic expansion, often accompanied by growing GDP, strong demand for goods leading to higher prices, and high levels of employment. Oppenheimer noted that the most significant super cycle the world economy experienced began in the early 1980s, further discussing content from his newly launched book, Any Happy Returns. This was characterized by interest rates and inflation peaking, before a decades-long period of falling capital costs, inflation, and rates, as well as economic policies such as deregulation and privatization, he explained. Meanwhile, geopolitical risk eased and globalization grew stronger. But he added that all these factors were now set to continue as they were. He said, We're not likely to see interest rates trending down as aggressively over the next decade or so. We're seeing some pushback to globalization, and of course we're seeing increased geopolitical tensions as well. Okay, there is no need for fear. There might be a little bit of fear later on though. Now, Bitcoin had a huge rally in 2023, with the digital currency up some 152% for the year. Many commentators on CNBC interviews expect the rise to continue. You're familiar with the story already. After hitting a record high in 2021, Bitcoin had a rough 2022, which was marked by the collapse of high-profile projects, liquidity issues, and bankruptcies. That same year, FTX, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, filed for bankruptcy. In 2023, its founder, Sam Bankman-Fried, was found guilty on all seven criminal counts brought against him by the federal prosecutors in the U.S. Also, in 2023, Binance's Chen Peng Zhao pleaded guilty to criminal charges and stepped down as the company's CEO as part of a $4.3 billion settlement with the Department of Justice. Can you see that it has been quite a tumultuous journey? Now that those two high-profile cases are out of the way, many cryptocurrency executives see it as a chance to move forward and draw a line under the bad behavior of two of the industry's poster children. Even with everything that has happened, we have found a reason to hope again. With strength returning to the crypto markets, industry executives are calling it the start of a new bull run. Mainly predicated on two events, which are the Bitcoin halving and the approval of a Bitcoin exchange traded fund in the US. The halving, which happens every four years, is an event written in Bitcoin's code. The reward miners get for mining Bitcoin is cut in half. This keeps a cap on the supply of Bitcoin, which will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. In the previous price cycles, the halving events have always preceded a rise in the price of Bitcoin. Meanwhile, there is a growing excitement that the Securities and Exchange Commission will approve of the first ever Bitcoin ETF after years of opposition. This would usher investors into a world of buying a product that tracks the price of Bitcoin without having to go onto an exchange and hold a digital currency directly. The industry is hoping that this will draw in a wide range of investors, and in particular, larger institutional investors. These looming events have spurred a slew of predictions, 
However, it is necessary to filter them. Not every word from an expert or analyst is to be believed. Yo Wei Yang, the chief economist of crypto mining firm BitMining, believes that Bitcoin could reach a high of $75,000 in 2024. He attributed the anticipated price rise to Bitcoin ETF being approved, leading to higher institutional investment in Bitcoin as well as the May 2024 Bitcoin halving, which will result in Bitcoin's supply being constrained. Those are anticipated events, anyway. I anticipate that Bitcoin will be trading around 25k to 75k in 2024 and 45k and 130k in 2025, Yang said in an email note. He added, while high prices are possible, not all investors will profit due to market volatility and the human tendencies of fear and greed. Also, consulting artificial intelligence using Google's BARD, we see Bitcoin's predictions this year from another perspective. Google's BARD found it challenging to predict the future price of a volatile asset like Bitcoin, but it eventually gave in and dared to answer based on analyst views. From its all-around knowledge, Bitcoin's 2024 price high will peak at a new all-time high of around $120,000, it stated. Several analysts have predicted that Bitcoin could reach a price of $120,000 in 2024. These predictions are based on various factors, including the Bitcoin halving, growing adoption, regulatory clarity, and the potential for spot Bitcoin ETF approval. Bart estimated Bitcoin's general price for 2024 to be between $50,000 and $120,000. The range is wide, and perhaps it is the reason to see an easy way to achieve a successful prediction. Bitcoin's price is hanging around $42,000, so Bitcoin reaching $50,000 in 2024 is not a wild idea. When asked how the highest valuation was calculated, Bart revealed that $120,000 seemed to have been the magic number for several experts. Another expert noted that institutional support is one of the largest bull factors for Bitcoin in 2024. He said, The most interesting trend throughout the year has been a rise of US-based institutional type of buyers, where historically the crypto market has been primarily driven by retail investors. Meanwhile, Bitcoin in 2024 could become what it always been designed to be, and that's digital money. The big question is, will this be enough to overcome its reputation for volatility, seediness, and lack of stability? As noted earlier, the fundamental story for Bitcoin in 2024 looks promising, but investors need to remember that an analysis of what the actual charts are saying is a paramount importance. There is a need to take note of proper entries and understand the risky investments in crypto. Regardless of the risk through cryptocurrencies and the blockchain industry are growing stronger, much-needed financial infrastructure is being built, and investors are increasingly able to access institutional-grade custody services. There is a provision of tools that they need to manage and safeguard their crypto assets as well. Crypto's future markets are being established, and many companies are gaining direct exposure to the cryptocurrency sector. Financial giants such as Block and PayPal are making it easier to buy and sell cryptocurrency on their popular platforms as well. Other companies, including Block, have poured hundreds of millions of dollars into Bitcoin and other digital assets. Furthermore, with the events set to unfold in the crypto market, it's important to ask whether crypto is a good long-term investment. Well, many cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, are launched with lofty objectives that may be achieved over long time horizons. While the success of any cryptocurrency project is not assured, early investors in a crypto project that reaches its goals can be richly rewarded over the long term. Regardless of the pretty predictions from the crypto experts, you need to do your own research. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.